Hey guys, this is Jonathan, entrepreneur, investor, and a guy that started from the bottom, made a lot of money, mainly in the online businesses, and now I want to help you do the same. I've decided to grow this channel so I can reach more people, and as I see more engagements and interest, I'll put more efforts and add more high quality content. So if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to get notifications for any future content. So in the last videos, I was talking a bit about the Bitcoin and referred to the term blockchain a few times. So in today's video, I'd like to quickly explain what it is and why it is good. The goal is that people who are new to this will get a better understanding of this whole field and gradually put all the pieces together about how it all works. At this point, we are covering everything on the basic level. But as we go on, we'll get into more complex details and explanations. So first of all, it is important that you understand that Bitcoin and blockchain are completely different things. Blockchain is the technology in which Bitcoin is built upon Bitcoin is an application of this platform, so don't confuse between them. The basic definition of blockchain is a shared ledger for recording the history of transactions, which cannot be modified whatsoever. By the way, in the cryptocurrency day trading course, you can find a video where I explain in a bit more details about how it works. But what I just told you now is the basic thing you should know about it. Now let's talk about why it is good, why do we need blockchain? This great technology can solve so many problems in different areas, but for now I will focus on the aspect of exchanging money. There are so many people and entities exchanging money using all types of transactions, all the time, anywhere. Now think of a situation where one party borrows $100 from another party, the first party write it down, and so is the second party. But what if they have a disagreement? What if the first party claims that he hasn't received any money in the first place, or wrote down that he borrowed only 50 bucks, not 100. And what if the second party wrote down that he landed $200? Now they don't agree and it's difficult to know for sure who is correct. This is just a very generic example, but it comes to show an existing problem. When you have multiple ledgers, one person can say, this is the transaction. Another one says, no, this is the transaction. And another one say a completely different thing. This is the reason for so much confusion in the business world. When you have multiple people tracking the same thing but differently, it's hard to know who is right. As a result, we experience a lot of inefficiency, errors, and also frauds. With blockchain, however, this cannot happen as each transaction is added automatically to a blockchain in the public ledger that I mentioned before and everyone gets the exact same information. Due to the mining verification process of each transaction, the information is now belong to everyone and not to one central entity such as the bank. So let me go over again and summarize the process for you. We have a transaction. Two parties are exchanging information. It can be money, but it can be also other things, such as art, contracts, identity documents, or any other asset that can have a digital form. Then it goes to the verification process. Those transactions are sent to be examined by computer servers. Once and if approved, each one of the transactions is added to a block along with many other transactions. This block is identified by a hash, which is a 256-bit number, a long encryption, which eliminates the risk for hacking or other type of frauds. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a bit better understanding about the blockchain, what it is, and why it is good. I hope to see you soon in the next videos.